Lime Loop, we're, uh, you know, again, out to deliver this world without waste. And the way we have entered that market is with retailers. Think about some of the largest retailers to medium size where you go and shop for a pair of jeans or a pair of shirts. Um, we're replacing all those single use packaging that you see at your home and behind the scenes. A lot of people forget like those goods have to move from warehouses to stores, back to warehouses and distribution centers with reusable packaging. And very early on, knowing that it is reusable packaging, we knew that we could actually invest in technology. Welcome to Business Ninjas, brought to you by Write For Me, where you'll hear from business leaders who are out there growing their business and slaying it every day. Learn from the masters. Let's get started. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Business Ninjas. I'm here today with Ashley Etling, CEO and co-founder of Lime Loop. Ashley, how are you today? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me and great to meet you. Oh, my pleasure and, and here as well. Uh, please tell us a little bit about yourself and Lime Loop. Yeah, I have, um, as far as work goes, I've been working in supply chain innovation um, most of my career and building companies around that. Uh, first started um, a company of building physical products, scaled that, moved to the Bay Area and just really became a sponge of technology, which led to developing um, enterprise software that really helped enterprise companies like GE, Target and Walmart actually connect to designers and develop products a lot easier. Um, watching e-commerce boom with a lot of these retailers, also having a frustration or seeing friends' homes dedicated to cardboard really led to what we're developing at Lime Loop, which is really starting to create a world without waste. But knowing we had to start somewhere and what I've been working in for the last um, you know, couple of decades really led to, okay, how can we start to really replace single use with reuse and power that with technology? Excellent. So tell us a little bit about your offerings at Lime Loop. Yeah, at Lime Loop, we're, uh, you know, again, out to deliver this world without waste. And the way we have entered that market is with retailers. Think about some of the largest retailers to medium size where you go and shop for a pair of jeans or a pair of shirts. Um, we're replacing all those single use packaging that you see at your home and behind the scenes. A lot of people forget like those goods have to move from warehouses to stores, back to warehouses and distribution centers with reusable packaging. And very early on, knowing that it is reusable packaging, we knew that we could actually invest in technology, put simple sensors in them, and really be able to take that data, aggregate it, provide retailers with real-time analytics to understand for the first time true visibility of where their inventory is. Excellent. And I, I would imagine that there is a, a high level of theft deterrence or at least tracking going on since you have that kind of passive ability. There is, yes. They can see when and where their packages have been opened, where they are. That starts to create aggregated data. So you can start to see, oh, actually, we're seeing a lot of lost inventory in this area or this location to provide insights on how you actually really start to solve those problems in real time. Excellent. And, and what's the origin story of Lime Loop? When did they come to be? Yeah, so actually um, at my last company, um, my lead engineer, Chantal, which is now my CTO and co-founder, we were, you know, always looking at the industry, looking at new ideas. And she was the first person I called when I was like, hey, let's replace this single use and all this packaging that we're so frustrated with piling at our doors with reusables. And that's where it really kind of came to fruition. Also have um, a great, great mentor I've worked with at Toad & Co. And really called him and said, hey, what if we actually utilize this for Toad & Co. as a great testing ground to ship all their apparel in these packages? And um, we were just going to beta test it and kind of see how it worked. Um, Fast Company called us um, a couple of days after the launch. And so we just rolled with it. We really, you know, since 2018 have been building the company in rapid prototyping mode. Um, and I'd say with that, have really realized that the technology is key to really building this reusable system. People always say like, oh, why isn't everyone doing this? It's so easy, but really the, the whole circular system is what it takes to really thrive and grow. And so that's what we've been really focused on as a company, which is creating a full circular system. That's excellent. As a person who has moved this year and taken a step back to realize 
how much cardboard my one family used in that process, it's terrible. And to think of how much this country goes through every single day, you know, every company, every delivery, uh, you know, it's an incredible impact on the environment. It is. I mean, it's, I still, when I say the stat, it still kind of takes me back. Like, wait, let me check that again. Um, 46 million packages ship each day, just in the U S alone. Every day, 46 Every million day. package. 46 and 5 million are lost each day. Ouch. Well, hey, uh, <laughs> post pandemic, you know, the, the delivery companies barely ring your doorbell now. They just sort of take a picture of it and walk away. So there's there's a built in assumption of loss going on. Uh, I guess I didn't realize it was the, the magnitude of it. Uh, other than, let's say, major retail stores and uh, clothing manufacturers, what, what verticals are you servicing with this platform? Yeah, we've mostly been focused on apparel, but get a lot of outreach from other industries. And we've slowly but surely taken those on when it's a closed loop system and works really well within the circular kind of offering that we provide with a lot of these customers. So now working with hospitals, think about all those when you're in a patient room and you see all those bins sitting there, starting to replace those with reusables. Those goods are actually coming with goods in them. So it creates a full circular system. You can empty out those goods put seconds that need to be um, kind of put through the next circular system back into them. And we're working with a salon company to where they take salon waste and they upcycle it. So they can put it in these reusable bins and then send it back. So continuing to double down on sustainable companies and continue to help them you know, meet their ESG goals. That's fabulous. And aside from the obvious tracking and lack of waste, what are the most common problems you're solving for your clients? Yeah, we really look at it for one, like cost, you know, you can always just enter a door and if you can be less than the packaging that they're paying for today, it immediately starts a conversation. And then from there, of course, you can check the box on environmental, we save 92% on carbon emissions by switching um, a lot of our retailers to reusables. And then that third is the whole operation system we talk about. It's how do we move these goods through a system because now they're coming back which is a new loop to the logistics system. And we think about automation, these are going through automation systems, the reuse has to work well through them. And so really it is continuing to offer and come to them as a reuse specialist to be able to offer this full circular solution. And then the technology layers that really automates it for them. Amazing. And I, I assume it's 2023, you have competitors in this space. What differentiates you from them? What makes you stand out from your competition? Yeah, I mean, what I've been, you know, continuing to iterate, which is that technology layer and the full system solution. You know, we always said from the very, very beginning, you can't just throw a retailer reusables and say, good luck. They've been using, you know, Brooks Brothers was founded 150 years ago. Cardboard has been the way we've done business since then. So it is a full system of coming in and really putting a plan together of how does it work for transportation? How does it work for carriers? How does it work for in-store teams and the end consumer. And then with that technology layer, how does that add additional value with those system changes and really heighten and bring, you know, additional um, ESG factors to these companies? Excellent. I imagine that the delivery systems have just been at record levels since COVID started with people, you know, setting up their home offices and kids being at home. What were the challenges and opportunities to grow Lime Loop in the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, the continued opportunities as we're seeing is definitely policy shifts with ESG and they're being driven abroad. We're seeing a lot of that first, but where a lot of corporations run is, okay, if we're going to change all of our operations abroad, then we're also going to just change all of our operations in the U.S. So while those changes are happening abroad, they are affecting how corporations are thinking about how they change everything for the future. Um, as we think about the pandemic, remember, we were putting packages in our garage because we didn't want to touch them. So that was definitely a shift within the system, but also shows the drive and the importance of needing to make change to make systemic, um, you know, difference as we're starting to grow in ESG. And then there's all the aspect of what we've seen with digital um, really increase over the last couple of years. And that digital being how we actually utilize 
centralized data in supply chains that connect it all together. And I'd say that has been the kind of biggest talk and conversation and where we get really excited because we plug beautifully right into that of how we bring all that data in a really streamlined way to really drive smart decisions. I, I imagine that you exposed whatever problems and gaps there were in the supply chain because you have data at every touch point of, of all your packaging. Absolutely. I mean, we're seeing where those packages are, where they're moving, when they've been opened, and then for cold chain and pharmaceutical, what the temperature is throughout that entire journey. So we're going from brands who have had a small percentage of visibility into that, sometimes even just the four API data clicks from a carrier to almost 96% coverage of understanding when and where their packages and inventory are for replenishment, um, for you know inventory safety, and also also just to really educate and create a safe environment for their teams as well. That's excellent. Okay, let's switch gears a little. Tell me what role content has played in the growth of Lime Loop. Yeah, I mean, from the very beginning, I mean, it is just like everyone is interested in reuse, it touches all of us. And the frustration with packaging is something, Chantal and I joke a lot, like, We've worked in technology most of our careers and our family for the first time understands what we do. It's something that touches all of us all day every day, you know, from, so from that perspective alone, that that's, you know, really exciting and really unleashes a lot of opportunity. Excellent. All right. Look down the road a year. What are some things you'd like to be celebrating personally and professionally? Yeah, I'd say um, professionally, I'm really excited about where we're going with the technology and the increased visibility, how that connects into some of these fancy words we keep hearing, blockchain and AI, but really does start to pull together visibility and data to drive not only um, you know, the impact from the environment, but also an impact for the bottom line for a lot of these retailers, which is where we really believe you'll see the true change when we can hit double bottom line value. So from a corporate responsibility part and what we're developing, we're really excited to see that evolve over the next year. It's not very common for a company to do the right thing and it be more cost effective than what they've been doing. So I, I applaud the approach. If, if you can kill two birds with one stone and make the investors happy and clean up the planet and lower the bottom line, I mean, that's win-win across the board. All right, please tell us what's your URL? Where can people find Lime Loop and what social media outlets are you using these days? Yeah, check us out at thelimeloop.com. Uh, you can find us on Instagram with always fun imagery and what's going on in, in reuse. Um, definitely check us up on Facebook and X as well. Ashley Etling of Lime Loop, thank you so much for what you do and for spending with, some time with us today on Business Ninjas. All the best to you and yours and continued success at Lime Loop. You as well. Thank you so much.